Welcome to the monthly review of uh, September. Today I want to start with the business update and the business goals and after that the general update and at the end the fitness update. So this will be the agenda for today. So let's start with the business update. So the first or big learning that I had this month or last month was um, the power of deadlines. Um, I think in earlier videos I told you that I don't want to wanted to wait any longer and I just wanted to launch my product finally and uh, that's why I decided to um, give myself a strict deadline and I told myself that at the end of September I wanted to place the order for my first product. So and then something happens like uh, uh, the supplier that I was um, communicating with for months that I, I told you about in uh, other videos um, he told me that he wasn't producing the product that we talked about, um, that he wasn't producing this product anymore. So I was standing there with nothing, and uh, but I still had my deadline and I had to um, yeah, order a new product or like find a new supplier within three weeks. Within these three weeks, I found out how powerful deadlines are because I don't, I don't know exactly know how I made it, but I, I just found a new supplier within these three weeks just because I had the pressure um, of this deadline that I gave myself order the product at the end of the month, no matter what. No matter how, whether the product is perfect or um, whether I have the perfect supplier or not, or whether I have the perfect prices for the import, um, I will order the first product then because I don't want to wait any longer. Waiting doesn't help me anymore. So yeah, and I think um, this was is so powerful because you just make um, decisions, you make them quicker, you don't hesitate with, like if you have to, for example, pay money for something in order to get to the next step, if there are like small sums, you don't think about it anymore because you just have to, you have your deadline and you want to yeah, achieve that deadline. So yeah, and uh, basically I got more done in the last three weeks than in the last three months just simply because I had the deadline. And uh, yeah, so yeah, I found my a new supplier within these three weeks, and now I have another product with which I think is even better now. Uh, in fact, and yeah, I have a new supplier. My next point is uh, or my next learning is focus. So um, what I um, recommend you in general. This is what um, also what I do is every once in a while take yourself some time off and not work and just use the time to reflect on what you're doing. I usually do it like this that I tell myself, okay, I don't have to get any work done today uh, because this mentally puts the pressure off of me that I um, have to finish this reflection session quickly to uh, get more work done. I really take myself, take some time to reflect. And what I then usually do is I listen to um, usually some music, classical music is um, in my experience pretty good to relax and to really think. And uh, you can also make yourself um, like a cup of tea. And this is also like relaxing and helps you to um, reflect on things. And then you think about, um, or try to think about all the things that um, you're fucking up right now. Because usually it is like this, that you have like your goals and your plans, but because usually you are probably fucking up at some level, um, it's something that you do, um, but you're not aware of it because um, our ego manipulates us, so we do not recognize it. So for example, with me, I, I um, sat down and reflected. This was um, today, um, but I usually do this more often and I should do it even more often. And I found out that especially in the last month, I was uh, I had no focus at all. I had a focus problem. I was trying to build a business. I was I am learning two languages at the same time, Mandarin and Spanish. Um, I'm trying to go to the gym six days a week. I try to produce videos for this YouTube channel twice a week or sometimes even more. And then I'm also about to start like a new project that I was offered to work on, a, on another project this, which probably is pretty profitable and also useful for me because then I have like capital for my business. And um, yeah, so I have all these projects and I had all these things um, and all of these things were in my mind and this was also why I was pretty stressed and I, it felt like um, I was getting like not m that much done. Of course with my business I was like kind of productive because of the deadline but uh, with all the other stuff I had like the feeling that I wasn't, that I had, hadn't had any progress and I really felt stressed. Yeah, this was my realization from the little reflection session that I had. And I made a decision to focus on only these two things. The main focus is like the business and also the other project, which I uh, I don't want to talk about it yet because I'm not sure whether it will happen. Um, and I don't want to talk about something that's not like 100% um, safe. So yes, this was the business. Um, update what about the business goals for October so yeah I told you that I had the deadline to order the first product in and uh, in the end of September and uh, I was about to order the product but I there was only like more, one certificate missing um, good old 
problem and uh, so yes currently I'm just certifying this product I already made the payments but to be fair I just made the payment today and it's already October so this wasn't part of September um, yeah but for sure I will like order the first product this month because the product will be certified and uh, the other goal is it's my my deadline for this month is to order the second product at the end of October uh, October so yeah I'm, I'm excited how this will be how this uh, would work out because I already have proven to myself that it's possible to found to find a, a personal a supplier in a very short time and I try to replicate this process this month okay the general update i told you about my um, focus problem and that's why i also made the decision to do th something in my not only in my business but also in my like personal life if you want for example language learning i was doing this usually five days a week monday to friday for like at least one and a half to two hours and uh, yes i found out or i realized in language learning i mean it is a hobby and it's yeah, of course you ha then have some goals but I, I think I pressured myself too much. If you are honest, or if I'm honest, I do not really have to achieve any level in, in Mandarin or, or Spanish. I just pressured myself and this makes no sense um, because language learning is um, just a hobby for me. And um, yeah, if it reduces my success in my, um, my business, for example, um, yeah, I decided I have to let go of language learning um, or at least reduce it. So that's why I will um, yeah, only will have three sessions of language learning a week. Okay, yes, and a little update about uh, YouTube and my uh, YouTube channel. I think I was kind of active last month. I tried to produce like at least two videos um, every every week or release two videos every week. And uh, I also decided here that um, YouTube is also, it's not my like my business or anything. It's just, I just want to yeah, document my journey. like. Like I'm doing today I just realized okay I don't have time to produce like two videos every week and uh, this took so much time for me that I yeah lost focus for the things that I really wanted to do so I also decided that I will only at max produce one video a week um, and that I also will only use um, one day a week uh, that I use for video creation or video production and that is uh, Saturday and um, only like a couple of hours maybe one or two hours um and then yeah as i told you i have the video editor and then uh this will also save me some time so yes this is like my new rule i will i won't produce any videos or like on, on no days except saturday i'm not allowed to do it might sound kind of strict but um yeah these like strict rules and that i have certain days for certain activities works well for me uh, you can like type me into the comments whether this works for you like to have certain days for um, certain activities or whether you are like more spontaneous um, and like do what like you, you want to do in that moment or, or want to do on that day because I know both types of people um, some people need like to have to like change things up a bit to keep like their daily work interesting um, and this is like totally fine but for me it works best if like everything is structured that's just the person or the type of person that i am okay the next point that i was thinking about like according to the, this youtube topic um is that i was wondering because there are like currently like so many people who just started a youtube channel or like also like a personal development youtube channel and who are just young guys like i am like 20 sometimes even younger like 17 or 20 19 21 and uh, they are all like giving personal development advice or life advice um, and then you could ask yourself why do these people give advice how to live a life if they haven't lived their own life and especially if they aren't successful yet because I think most of them as far as I know aren't really successful and um, sometimes also share things that are in my opinion not true and so I thought okay if you're honest here am I not just like another youtuber who's just not successful who's very young and shares how to be successful and yeah on some level I want to believe that my content is valuable especially like especially I think my content about how to change your identity and um, procrastination was like deeper topic it was was a bit deeper I had the realization that, yeah maybe I am this just another personal development youtuber who is not successful and who tries to share how to be successful. That's why I felt shame, probably. I felt ashamed for what I am doing here. I doubted myself, okay, is this the right thing? Does it make sense or is it just bullshit, embarrassing thing that I'm doing? And I was also thinking about, okay, should I, 
should I continue producing videos or should I uh, like change the content a bit? And then I came to the conclusion that there's nothing wrong about okay sharing my like my journey or, and also the lessons that I have um, and that I make on, on, on my journey. But what I think is problematic and what is also something that I want to avoid here on this channel is um, just to produce videos just for the sake of producing videos and for example choosing topics video topics that I think might be interesting for you for like the viewers and that I think that might resonate with you but there aren't like really lessons that I had and that aren't like really topics where I have valuable things that I can share because yes on some level I'm, I'm kind of young um, and I haven't lived life as other people would like older people would. But this doesn't mean that I'm making no learnings. So yeah, I think there is stuff that I could share. There must be stuff that is valuable. So this was my conclusion. I, I want to focus on like creating videos that are valuable for you and that we are like learnings in there. Because I, I for example, observed that I, some videos were, not all of them, like last month, but some videos for just because I thought, okay, they might resonate with you. I think, for example, the video about your parents will never understand your journey. This was just like, okay, probably if you're watching this, you have parents who do doubt you and this will probably resonate with you. So I let's produce this video. But in my opinion, this video isn't as valuable as it should be. And last month I was just producing videos because I was hunting for followers. I just watched into the YouTube studios if I had gained followers. And this is also why I just produced videos and produced and produced to gain more followers. But I also realized to myself, okay, I don't have to get any new followers. Of course, I'm sharing this video so people see them and it's always nice if I win a follower. Um, but I don't have to achieve like a goal. Okay, I have to like achieve 50 followers until end of this year or 100 followers. I don't have to achieve anything. It's just a thing that I do for fun and it's just a thing um, that I share for some people um, that want to also improve and I think the right people will find this channel. The people who will resonate with the honest things that I'm, I want to share will find this channel. This is another interesting lesson that I am um, or a thing that I learned from my mentor that you can learn a lot from your emotions and that your emotions tell you a lot about what is the next step that you should do. Um, for example, I felt, I think it was anger and also like a little bit of shame, but probably more anger when like I saw all these YouTubers who were, in my opinion, just producing videos to produce and uh, who were treating YouTube as a business and that's why they just wanted to have a lot of personal development content, even though they don't have the qualifications to talk about success. And I mean, they might have some, sometimes have might have like valuable things to share. Um, I don't want to deny that. Um, and I don't know all of their content, there might be YouTubers where I have, have good things to share. Um, but there probably are, definitely are some people who don't have good things to share and just um, produce anything. And uh, they can do their thing. But I just observed for myself, okay, this kind of makes me angry. And this anger, this anger told me that I don't want to share such stuff that I want to share. Stuff that is valuable in my opinion. And this, which is authentic and which is not just created for the reason just to create something. I hope uh, this is understandable. So yeah, I decided a little bit to change the content again to first of all, of always have like a little bit of value inside of the video. Maybe you see also this month review should also have like the focus on value. For example, my learnings about deadlines and the learning about focus. And I would also want to stay loyal to my, um, per to the purpose of this channel, which is authenticity and uh, like sharing my learnings that I make on my journey and uh, because what I, I honestly what I want to do is I want to show people who were like me who are like me like a, like a very shy introverted guy who is beaten down by life and who think that they have no hope of ever getting better that uh, you can change in life and that life and that you can become successful and that you can achieve anything you want and I want to prove this to those people on this channel because I'm not successful yet, but I, I want to prove that to these people that I, and that they can live their dream life. Okay, yes, and another thing is that last month I created a video called um, Dear Men Stop Working Out. This was intended to be like a little fitness motivation. I received uh, like a hate comment. The hate wasn't intended against me, but against like politicians and women, I think I will like, let this comment pop up here in this video. Yeah, it was of course a little bit because of this famous post by some feminists and um, which states that, um, okay, yeah, men should uh, start or should stop working out. 
and um, when I read the post at first I couldn't believe that this is like a real post I, I like still I'm not sure whether this was just a joke or if people really believe this I don't know but my opinion is working out is good so everybody who wants to work out should work out and uh, yes this was uh, why I also made this um, little fitness motivation video and yeah but under this video I had uh, like, a, like a hate comment which stated um, yeah the only toxic thing on earth are like women and politicians and when I read this comment I th immediately thought okay this isn't good because I don't want to attract such people maybe this wasn't a bad person probably he isn't a bad person and I don't think he doesn't believe about himself that he's a bad person but I don't want to produce or have videos that spread this hate because at some point um, I might also maybe this will grow at some point and um, it would be cool if I have a little community about people who are like improving themselves and working on themselves and um, I don't want hate in this community. I want to encourage you like yeah if people might disagree with your point um, please let's please like stay respectful and let's stay in our power. I mean those people can insult us and say okay we should stop working out or say that we are toxic or whatever but this says nothing about us this says something about them and about, and about their emotional state about what we can um, control is our emotional reaction and i want to encourage you to always react mature and all, still be respectful even if those people aren't respectful and yeah as i said let's stay in our power because i mean the truth is objectively this statement is wrong like the only thing on earth or the only persons on earth who are toxic are women and politicians. I mean, this is objectively not true. They are probably toxic men and women. Okay, and the last part is the fitness update. Yeah, I want to share this fitness update. First of all, I will also reduce the um, amount of workouts I will do per week. Currently, I'm going like six days a week. It's almost like I'm addicted. Like today, for example, is my off day and it was almost hard not to go to the gym. But yeah, now I will reduce it to four times a week because simply because I don't have time. I'm also currently not um, shredding down anymore because I mean, maybe if you've s s seen the other monthly reviews, I told you that I was shredding down. I'm not shredding down anymore. I'm uh, starting to bug. Or I started like two days ago. Like technically, this is my the first bug I'm ever ever doing. I've never done the bug before, because um, I was never like into this fitness thing. Like I was just like working out a lot, maybe maybe you can call it a lot. And now I'm trying to be a little bit more professional, track my calories, and try to gain a little bit of weight to build more muscles. Oh yeah, and I also decided to change my workout routine a bit to work more on my chest and especially more on my legs because my legs. I think are the weakest part of my body in comparison to my other muscles and my chest is also not the best that's why I will train more chest and more legs yeah that's it for the months I'm sorry that this came a little bit late um, this was because of the new rule that I only produce on the on Saturday uh, so I had to wait and until today but I hope that you liked this uh, review and uh, yes as always let's stop talking and let's start building our dream life